Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my Final Fantasy Brief Extras video and I've discovered a very good way of finally using Kurosami's Moon Burst. The not SLB version of it. The regular Moon Burst that you normally don't use. And the reason why you'd want to use it because Ish, the one next, the one, uh, this one here, Ish, uh, has 27 hits, which work, will work with his Moon Burst. So basically how it would work this is the ultimate, this is the ultimate ice team. <clears throat> Basically, we're trading with Carl and Kurosami are trading between finishers. Um, so when his SLB is up, he's going to use his SLB. When uh, these two have chain capabilities, he can use his L regular LB because it's still decently powerful. And he could use his SLB when these two are ready. And all three of them have bolting, all three of them have bolting strike frames. In, ter in terms of just normal chaining as well. So if their little purse is not ready, they could just use their normal little purse. So that's also a really good thing. Um, here is the one that's going to keep us all not to die. 400% uh, fire resistance is mandatory for this, unfortunately. There's no way around it. Death resistance as well. Everybody has status immunity. She doesn't actually need these at all, by, by the way, but I just have them on there just because not much else to put on. She doesn't really need stats. Um, so here's my build for Brave Shift form is not used. I wish I could use it because of the buff and the Brave Shift form, but no. Uh, she's just built for HP and I put her STM on to get some insect killer because she doesn't have an insect killer. Unfortunately, the 250% is not insect, it's plant. Here's my Kurosami build. I can't really find anything better. I, I scratched my head for like an hour. I can't find a better build than this. So this is my build. He has no LB fill rate, which really is unfortunate. Or LB fill return, he has none. So it, it's really unfortunate. But still very powerful. 300% burst damage, 300% insect killer. Ish has 300% insect killer. Because she already, has, she already has some in her kit. So... Full status immunity, her own STMR, which gives her more stats. Which doesn't sell, doesn't look that impressive, because, uh, yeah. But she has 300% little burst damage. 40% TDH and stuff like that. Carl, pretty much the same build as the video that I made before. Except full status immunity instead. So, that being said, let us get into the fight. We have to witness, we have to beat this, this version of this fight in 12 turns. With five units. So what Celeste is basically going to be doing for the entire time until she gets Berserk, which doesn't matter because her normal attack has her normal attack has cover on it. So that's what she's going to be doing the entire time. And El Elmetal is going to be using LB fill rate buff, uh, HP barrier, and also LB buff, LB fill buff, LB fill rate and LB fill crystal buff thing whatever and now they're gonna we're gonna we're gonna chain and finish on the first turn so that we at least they're using their lb or something because there's really nothing else for them to do so i mean i would say that's, that's 10 percent damage that's pretty good on the first turn guys that's pretty good and this boss can be fully broken which is good at least so at least you can defend you can uh break their, de their defenses, at least. So that's a thing. Um, yep. So we're just gonna, I think we're just going to chain this turn. Because there's not much else for them to do this turn. But that's okay. He has a 400 times mod, uh, the, the Carl damage, 400 times mod chain, so that's decent. Not really meant to do damage this turn, we're just waiting. And getting Ish's uh, LB filled to the max for the for Kurosami's finished turn. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use her dual cast and we're going to use her STMR. This is the insect killer. Give it to Kurosami and give it to Ish. And 
Paul does not need any because he doesn't benefit from killers. So these all work. These all work. They should. So curse on me first. Then chain. Very good damage. That's very good damage. <laughs> very good damage, I'd say. Very good damage. All right, now she's berserked. So now she's gonna be just out of out of basically out of bounds for the rest of the fight. That's okay. We don't really care that much. It's not that big of a deal. And every every often you're gonna have to switch back and heal the team with Ilmatel. And sometimes you can use her killers, but like the one time I just did. But you're gonna swap into between healing and giving HP barriers and stuff. HP barriers allow us to not heal as often, on average. Carl's LB is up. Now we're gonna swap to Kurosami. I wish I leveled this, by the way. Whoops. But Kurosami is or Carl's now gonna be the finisher. We pass the baton over to him. So now we're gonna we're gonna chain and finish with Carl. I seem to always mess that up. I still need to practice, I guess, a little bit more on his, on his uh, finishing there with his SLB. My bad. That's not that big of a deal, though. And then he can use this next turn. Oh wait, actually no, his his uh SLB will be up actually, so we can just we can just chain this turn. We're still doing decent damage, we just did like five percent damage, I think. Give or take. I wasn't actually paying full attention, but And death resist, so don't have to worry about that. Oops. Triple cast. Triple cast. And Kurosami finish. That was really good damage, wow. Really good damage there, for real. That was impressive. That was really good variance that game, that turnaround. That was very good variance. Now he can go ahead and use his Grandis. Uh, actually no, because his S will be, will be up anyways. I think we're gonna save, because it's, it's, the reason why we save it is because it fills up his LB. So you don't really want to waste it. But we can just do whatever this turn, pretty much. We're just waiting for Carl. They got to use Carl a little early, or a little earlier. I think Carl has to be used a little earlier. Not a big deal though. Now let's use let's let's use him like like point seconds early. There we go. Nice, we just did like ten like eleven percent damage there. Very good. We have to win on turn twelve, so I think we're I think we're on a good on a good point of getting there. I think we're on a, I think we're on a pretty good trajectory there. Not that. Oh my, no, I don't want you to per- No. I want 
you to do this. <laughs> Come on. Wow, dude. Curse time is crazy right now. That's insane damage. I know this is only the inversion, but the inversion still has lots of stats. The inversion still has insane stats, guys. Even if this is the weaker enemy, he still has insane stats. So keep that in mind. We can use all their LBs this turn. And that's it. <laughs> I told you guys, this is like the ultimate tag team. A finisher chainer ca combination. All three of these work so well together. It's insane, the combinations. I don't think they thought about this. I don't think they thought about this combination. Uh, this is really great. I had a blast doing this trial, actually. This is one of the funnest trials in a long time because I can actually just have fun with it. And do a lot of combinations. This is like the best combination I've ever made. For real. So it is really amazing how his base cell first was really not that good for a very long time. But now it's actually useful for something because he can chain with other people that have very strong stuff too. So all three of these, very good. They all can chain together. They all can, though Ish can't finish, but... These two can finish, they all can chain. Um, very good, very good strategy. Will it work on the advanced version? I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but this is still a very good uh, chaining opportunity there. I think I finished actually like, like turn nine, my test run, but the variances and things, you know, I, was, I actually hit more in, on one turn than my last attempt, but then uh, I think I messed, I messed up one time on Carl's LB there, but that's all right. Turn 10 out of 12, that's fine by me. As long as you do it by 12 turns, that's fine by me. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you, and hope to see you in the very next video. Peace.